as we all know, so much in a teenager's life, almost everything in a teenager's life is in such a reasonable way, so blown out of proportion. Um, every little thing that happens is such a huge event in your life at that, in that sort of, I guess, age, you know, in that, during that time period of your life. Um, and in this script, in this movie, everything that happens to Nadine means so much. And I think that's what pushes the boundaries is that everything matters just as it does in real life. When I was auditioning for this, I went in and I talked to Kelly about a number of experiences that I had in school um, that were so similar to Nadine's. And it felt very weird going in there and being like, I went through this, because of course you, you want them to believe that you went through this or something similar. And it's just a weird sort of vulnerable state I felt I, I was in because I went in there and I was like, this is so similar to, to, to what I've experienced in life and to what I know so many of my friends have. With Nadine, it's all she wears, her feelings, her heart, her everything on her sleeve. Um, and even when you know she's trying not to let whatever it is get to her, you know how she's really feeling. And there's something so refreshing about seeing someone that just, like, feels. Like, you know, there's so much that she goes through with so many different people in this movie, from her best friend to her mother to her father to her brother. The relationship between Nadine and Krista is like the ultimate best friend relationship. It's the relationship where if you're not in the same room, you're most likely texting or on the phone or on FaceTime with that person talking about what you're doing or not saying anything at all because you're just there. Mr. Bruner, is the, he's just, he's the only person that just pretends to show any interest in my conversation. Um, and the great part about how it's written is he's there for her and he listens to her and he welcomes her uh, to an extent, um, but is so unfazed by anything she has to say. And that just keeps her like on her toes and keeps her thinking of any possible thing she can say for that shock value um, and that that's what I guess one of the things I love so much about Nadine is just she just doesn't hold back she just goes for it it's so complex and it's so again layered because there's so much sort of hatred that Nadine has for this person that she looks at and sees as absolutely everything he got everything from beyond the looks. He's got the grades, he's got the school loving him. Every person walks by, he, he walks by in the hallways, turns to him and gives him a high five or gives him, shows him attention and love. And I walk down and people snicker and look at me up and down and we're related. And it feels as though he's the last person I'd ever be related to because he's so not like me, he's so different. It's been so incredible because I'm able to just have a conversation with Kelly and see in her eyes how passionate she is and see where everything comes from. Um, and just in conversation, it's been so helpful in terms of building Nadine as a character.